I know you've all been wondering how you can create a phenyl ether out of a benzene ring. The answer is it's a little bit of a contrived synthesis, but I'm going to show you anyways because I'm a great guy. If you start with a benzene and you treat it with HNO3 or nitric acid, you can actually add an NO2 to it. So here we have uh, nitrobenzene. Then if you react that with HCl, with tin around, it actually helps to reduce it into aminobenzene. And then if you treat that with sodium nitrite and HCl, and then you add water or you transfer that product into water, you'll actually end up with phenol. This is how you make phenol out of benzene. Strong HNO3, reduction with tin HCl, reaction with sodium nitrite and HCl, and then treating with water to add the proton. Here's the deal. When you start with phenol, you can treat phenol with NaOH. It, when you add NaOH or a strong base to this, that's a strong enough base to remove the proton. What you end up with is the same benzene ring, but O minus. The conjugate base of phenol, if something is strong enough to rip that proton off. Now the deal with this is that that O has a lot of negative charge to it, or rather a single negative charge to it. And if you have some kind of chain of carbons with an iodine on it, you'll end up with a nucleophilic substitution. This negative charge here is attracted to the slightly positive charge on this carbon. Why does that carbon have a slightly positive charge? Because I is an electronegative atom and it's easily replaced by a nucleophilic substitution. So negative charge, oh I love you Mr. Positive Charge. And what ends up happening is you have your benzene with the oxygen but instead of the oxygen just having a negative charge for no reason, it attached itself to this carbon, which is attached to another carbon, and then that branches off. I think one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, that many carbons. And the I actually kind of went off on its own and got kicked out. Realistically, that I probably attached itself to the Na, made NaI, but if you're dissolved in water, then it would be separate ions, whatever. You don't care. What you care about is when you have phenol and you treat it with a strong base, you get the conjugate base of phenol, which is has this O minus charge on it, and that O minus charge loves positive charges. And if you have any alkyl iodide, There'll be a nucleophilic substitution. The O attaches itself to the carbon, making your ether, and the I gets kicked off, gets to do whatever it wants. It has freedom. All right, that's how it happens. Make ethers out of benzene. Do it every day, all day. Believe that. Best of luck, and as always, have a nice day.